I don't create the drama, but I'm here for a bitch. Welcome to Tea Time Unfiltered with Lovely Tea, where we talk about the latest celebrity tea, viral news stories, and anything trending on social media. So grab your teacups because you already know this podcast is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good this evening. So I want to welcome you to another episode of Tea Time with Lovely Tea Unfiltered. So I want to come out here and talk about two viral videos that have taken place in the past 24 hours. And I want to talk about the topic more in depth. And I want to be free to talk about the topic, okay? So if you guys don't know, yesterday, Delonte West, he went viral all over social media yesterday. And I had posted the video of him. Um, One was taken the day before where he was in the middle of the street and he was getting beat up by some random man. The dude was stomping on his head. It was really painful to watch. And then the next video, you have a police officer questioning Delonte, trying to figure out what happened and how he found himself getting beat up on the street. So Delonte is definitely... um, agitated he's annoyed he's not feeling the police officer's questions so i want you guys to go ahead and listen to this audio really quick snakes on my life what man all right why'd you hit him did he attack you first with the self-defense or did you hit him man i walked down the street the man approached me with an eye butt with a gun you broke where's his gun at i don't give a fuck okay you know where his gun is i don't give a fuck okay young champ I'm the leader of the motherfucker. Goddamn the Navy Seals. And the home. And the Navy. I'm the motherfucking President Trump. I'm the real fucking president. Okay. I'm right now. I'm about to lead them. All the gangs. What happened? All right. All right. So you guys just watched that video. And it's just really disturbing to see how far Delonte West has fallen off. But this is nothing new to all of us sports fans out there. If you guys know the history of Delonte West and all the things he's been through over the past few years, and you wouldn't be shocked. Um, a, about two years ago, he was filmed on the streets of um, Maryland. He was out and about, and somebody seen him. He looked like he just gotten out of a mental institution. He still had on his robe. He didn't have on any shoes. He seemed to have escaped. And the person took a picture with Delonte West and posted on social media. Um, Delante West has also admitted himself that he's been battling mental illness for years. Um, teammate Booby Gibson talked about this a few years ago. What's up, Daniel? How are you? What's up? Pretty good. I hate having you to see you, but it's part of my job. Um, have you been, do you, do you still keep up with Delante West? There's like picture, pictures of him surfacing, showing him that he's homeless, like yeah. dancing outside the street. Have you seen any of those pictures? I have, I have, I have. I put, uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it because the internet is tricky. Yeah. You never know what's real and what's fake. Exactly. But I do know when he was playing ball, he had like um, he did have a few mental issues. Okay. And it could it could have got tough for him when he's done because they don't yeah. really like help. Uh-huh. Him yeah. Finish. Exactly. So mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't know personally if it's really him, but I hope. Okay. How do you guys still keep up? How, when's the last time you spoke to him? We had a reunion game or uh-huh. something. Yeah. Like three or four years ago. Okay. That was the last time I spoke to him. Okay. Do you think LeBron should reach out to him or what do you think about that? As far as just players reaching out to him, maybe try to get in contact with him. That's if if they friends or if they cool or like anybody that got a close, like Jameer Nelson is somebody that was really close to him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys like that because you play on teams with guys, but they don't always be your friends. Yeah, that's true. And most notably, people are saying that he was blackballed from the NBA for allegedly smashing LeBron James's mother. So the inside joke is that Delonte West is LeBron James's daddy. Because as we all know, Gloria James has no idea who knocked her up and created that man who we all know is King James, right? So that's just been like the long running joke. But um, to see him out here on this curve, it was just sad. It was just really sad to see how far he's fallen. He looks dirty. He looks disheveled, you know, and from what I'm hearing, the police officer who recorded him now i don't know if he's one who uploaded to social media but they're saying that he's been reprimanded and he's been suspended and so once all this happened of course here comes the you know the the social media justice warriors with their pitchforks and you know all these super moral people were attacking lebron james they were attacking the nba they're saying you know you guys are rich there's no reason for him to be out here like this lebron james he was your teammate on the cleveland clavaliers you need to step up and do your job i mean people were like really dragging lebron lebron james lebron james lebron james lebron james lebron james 
as if this dude is really LeBron James's father. Like, so I'm watching all this plot on social media. Like, are we in the twilight zone here? Like, you know, first of all, this is not the first time that Delonte West has been caught like this. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's happened multiple times. The NBA is well aware of his issues. Um, now, do I believe that he smashed Gloria James? I don't know. That's been the long-standing rumor. People are saying that that's why he was blacklisted from the NBA because of LeBron James. I don't know. But I find it very funny that now all of a sudden people want to get on this moral high ground and tell what, and tell LeBron James what he needs to do because he's rich. Now, let me remind you guys that before Delonte West fell off, he made approximately $16 million while in the NBA, okay? So he made his money and he squandered it, you know, on partying, drugs, and, you know, his mental illness issues, okay? Now, let's take the celebrity away. Let's take the, you know, LeBron James is the best in the NBA, you know, per my opinion. Let's take all that away. And let's just have two regular men who were coworkers. Let's say they just worked at AT&T together. They did customer service, okay? They were on the same team. You know, they were under a woman named, you know, Samantha Smith. That was their manager. They took inbound calls. Sometimes they went to lunch together. Sometimes they hung out outside of work. Nothing more, nothing less. So now one of the, the workers from AT&T he ends up losing his job. He goes on a downward spiral. He gets real depressed. He starts abusing drugs. It exacerbates his illness. It makes his mental illness come more to the surface. So now if these were just two regular guys who were coworkers together. Nobody in their right mind would say that that coworker, it's his responsibility to take care of his ex coworker. Like, I mean, do y'all understand how foolish that is to blame LeBron James for Delonte West's situation, regardless if you feel like LeBron James got him blackballed or not? It's not LeBron James's job or the NBA's job to take care of Delonte West now that he's falling off. My thing is, the first question that came to my mind is, where's his family? Not why isn't LeBron James looking out for his old teammate. Not why isn't Adam Silver doing what he needs to do for Delonte West. My first thought is, where's his mother? Where are his cousins? Where are his siblings? Where are all these people who are around? When that young man became the number one draft pick back in 2004, he was pick number 24 overall in the first round. I bet you all his family members were there cheering him on. Everybody was there. You know, that's my cousin. That's my brother. That's my relative. And now that he's falling off on hard times, where's the family? Where's the family unit? Those are the people that I'm going to look to first before I look to a LeBron James, a Booby Gibson, and other people. While this situation with Delonte West is sad, it's nothing new. And what I find funny is that he's getting all of this outpouring of sympathy and people are shaming LeBron James. But yet and still, in L.A., because I lived in L.A., there are people out there with mental illness literally on every corner. You can literally just be walking to the grocery store. You will run into people talking to themselves, people who haven't bathed in months. You can smell them before you see them. I mean, people who will just jump up from their sleep and, you know, run after you. I mean, it's, it's really scary sometimes when you're, like, in Hollywood or in downtown L.A., and you're just trying to simply get to an audition. So if you guys are not rallying to help these regular Joe Schmoes, these regular men and women who are suffering from the same type of ailments and mental illness that Delonte West is suffering from, then you need to keep your mouth hush, okay? And stop trying to tell LeBron James and the other people in the NBA what to do. If you're not helping the local person, the person who's going through something in your own neighborhood, then don't worry about anybody else's backyard. Because I see this a lot with social media. So we're going to get into some real things. There might be some hurt feelings, but you know, I don't give a shit. I see this a lot on social media. I'll never forget when everything first happened with um, Mahia Campbell. She's the one who played Tiffany Warren on the UPN sitcom called In the House, okay? And she was LL Cool J's co-star. And I remember back in like 2009, this was still the early years of YouTube. And I remember when her video went viral and I was shocked to see her. She was missing teeth. I mean, she was out in L.A., you know, hopping in and out of cars, turning tricks. I mean, she did not look like the beautiful woman that we were used to seeing on, you know, on our TV screens for years. And I remember so many people were attacking LL Cool J back then. Like, you know, where's LL Cool J? Where's Debbie Gibson? Where are all these people who were her coworkers and who were, you know, on her sitcom show? They should be doing something for her. They should take her under their wing. And that's not always realistic. 
You know, a lot of times, I know her mother tried to help her a lot before she passed away. Um, her mother went through a lot to try and help. Uh, we've also seen on um, Ayana Fix My Life. She's been through a lot of stuff. Not everyone can necessarily be helped when you want them to be helped. And it's not fair to blame other people who are merely co-workers. It's not fair to give them the responsibility of the family. LL Cool J was nothing more than a co-worker. I'm sure they had a friendly relationship. I'm sure he cared about her. But he doesn't really owe her anything outside of that. You know, and for all we know, he may have tried to help her. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.